Alright, hey guys, welcome to another Jin Leads MS2 adventure, and I actually forgot what I did in the last episode, so I had to watch my own episode to figure out where I left off. Alright, anyways, so, before I even start the video, just, uh, yeah, as you can hear, you probably hear in my morning voice right now, just woke up. I am about a few hours before I have to head back home for Thanksgiving break, but I did want to get this in just to get sort of a mix of an updates video for both in-game and real life. And yeah, so I was able to record six videos over the course of the Thanksgiving break, which means that you guys can look forward to some daily scheduled content, and all the while I'll be sitting at home chilling and relaxing, so it's a win-win situation for everyone. But yeah, in the video I'm going to be talking about what I did in-game along with what's going to be happening during the holidays that's coming up soon. Winter break and stuff, you know? Um, uh, this is like my favorite time of the year. I'm a very I'm a very winter person because I do enjoy the cold a lot more than I do enjoy the heat. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have leaves on trees and stuff. Uh, I think the summer environment and scenery is a lot more attractive. Actually, no, I like autumn more in that case. But I do enjoy winter just because, you know, Thanksgiving... And then there's Christmas and New Year's, it's a lot of like a good back-to-back -back session of holidays to look forward to. It is kind of depressing because winter, you know, during the winter the day is really short. But at the same time, since it's really cold outside, you know, you get to like cozy up next to the fireplace and it's just really comfortable, I like it. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna let you guys know that we didn't forget about the Q&A and that we do plan to deliver on it. Matt and I were actually able to get together and recorded the Q&A about a couple days ago, but I won't be able to finish it once we get back from Thanksgiving. And yes, that is a sneak preview to my face reveal if you haven't seen what I look like yet, although I'm pretty sure some, of, a lot of you guys should know what I look like. I've not like, I don't consistently do it, but there's like a couple inconspicuous times where I uh, do a face cam and whatnot. So it's been over two weeks since my last Maple Story 2 adventure, and since then, I've been able to make a really big leaps and bounds in my stats and strength. Not so much my room blader because there's been a pretty hectic couple weeks, but Jin Lee's doing really great. Despite having to upgrade two weapons, I was able to get pretty... Despite having to upgrade two weapons, I was able to get pretty lucky with getting my two throwing weapons to plus 15. The main hand one came very quickly, I was able to get to plus 15 in under like 50 fail charges. The offhand one wasn't so lucky and I had to go all the way to 99% to reach plus 15, but the cool part was that I was able to go from plus 12 to plus 14 using only the base pass rate, which was I think 15% and 10%. A lot of people are talking about that RNG aspect and time gating limitation to upgrading, so I might do another discussion on that. Let me know if you guys do want me to make a video on that when I get back home. Or, well, I'm going home when I come back to college. But yeah. Plus 15 and plus 15, and some good Chaos Dvorak runs. You've seen the equip video yesterday, so I don't really need to explain everything. I think one thing that I really do enjoy about MapleStory 2 is that simplicity you have to upgrading. Like back in MapleStory 1, you would not only have to scroll your equipment, but then you would have to enhance it, and then get main potential, then get bonus potential, then get soul weapon, then get flames. There were just too many things to upgrading. But with MS2, it's just enhancements and gemstones. Very simple and straightforward. Though I do think that kind of eliminates a sense of variety when it comes to upgrading, but oh well, that's another story for another time. I'm really looking forward to Chaos Pat, but first I gotta get through Seamock. A lot of my guys in Noctis have been climbing through the gearing process, and now we're about 12 or 13 people in the guild that are comfortably doing Chaos Dvorak, so expect to see some Seamock attempts soon, and maybe a clear and a guide. Right, anyway, at the moment, now that I've been set free from the prison that is Fire Dragon, I've been going into Beyond Link Triss to get the Absolute Rings and Belt, because those are the two I should focus on upgrading next. Since we're not going to be getting legendary accessories anytime soon, it's safe to say everyone should be doing their due diligence to get those accessories best and slotted, which means a lot more hard dungeon farming. I'm sure everyone likes that. But honestly, once you reach that point of like 7,000 or more attack, these bosses take like 3 to 4 minutes to complete. It's actually, it's like a normal dungeon at that point. In fact, my friends and I have been focusing on trying to get fast time runs, and one run we actually were able to get sub 4 minutes on BLT. Just, I guess, kind of like a small token adventure in itself. This is my favorite time of a game, like right after a new patch comes out with a big expansive update like Chaos Raids, and once the community kind of like breaks into it a little bit and get their feet stretched out, you know what I mean, right? It's starting to slowly incorporate into our daily life, which means more content to do over a period of time. And while a lot of players complain that these Chaos Raids have been too difficult, you guys know my opinion on that already, I made the video, but I like that these bosses are super hard because it makes it feel that much better when you actually take it out. Even though Chaos Dvorak has become kind of a joke to the people who have beaten it before, we still have to work on Captain Mock, which is, oh boy, giant mess in and of itself. I'm not looking forward to it just because I heard it's a very, uh, you don't get too much legroom in that boss. You have to have like almost perfectly min-max gear to be able to like efficiently take it out. Well, not that, that's kind of an exaggeration, but you do need a lot more power than you do what do like Chaos Dvorak. But I do want to spend more time to get my room later Glaive caught up. Gonna try to grind as much as I can over break, my goal is to have him reach at least plus 14 by the end of the week, and then maybe get started on working on more characters. That's actually a good transition to the next topic I want to talk about, which are my plans for the upcoming holidays. 
So I leave for Thanksgiving break, like literally by the time this video is out, I'm on my way home. And that lasts until the end of this week, and then I come back to school to finish out the last two and a half weeks of the semester, in which during that time uploading might be a bit sparse, so just uh, hope you guys don't mind. And since I don't have any final exams, I can leave early, which means I get to get home by around the 12th of December, and then winter break lasts all the way until I think like the 17th of January or something. A full month of free time to do whatever I want, which means I plan to get a lot of um, characters upgraded. I want to try to see if I can get every single character review out during the winter break, and maybe the class guides as well. I'm much more excited for Christmas this year just because last year I spent it wasting away and doing nothing but playing League of Legends, but now that I'm back to YouTube, I'll be keeping myself busy, that's for sure. Content-wise, I plan to continue releasing the same stuff as usual. I might take a short trip back to MapleStory 1 to cover the Black Mage update, but since I sold all my characters' equips, I'm still on the fence about that. What I do plan to do is host some very awesome Christmas events during that time, hopefully in a live stream featuring a ton of mini games or even collaborating with other MS2 YouTubers and streamers, just for like a giant overall Christmas special or something. I don't know, man can dream. I might ask Chongsu if he can help us out a bit. Hard to imagine it's already been three months since school started. It's kind of bittersweet that time goes so fast the older you get. Like when you're a child, a year would feel super super long, but when you're an adult, a year goes by without even a second thought. I'm happy that time goes by so fast because it doesn't feel like you're dragging your feet along, but all the same, I wish it would slow down because I feel like a year goes by and I still haven't accomplished anything, you know what I mean? Still though, I like the progression speed of MapleStory too. I think when it comes down to it, there's a lot of content in this game that can be explored and covered outside of just trying to get stronger and stronger, which is why I do enjoy making the type of videos I make since they can withstand the test of time. But there's no actual particular rush to make the videos I like to make, but I like to not keep you guys waiting for too long. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys, but uh, yeah, I should probably get going and pack up to go home. I was able to miraculously make 6 videos, do a research paper, and finish a big project all in like less than a week. I was so stressed out, you have no idea. But it feels good, it feels like very refreshing and relaxing to know like you just got a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Looking forward to get some good rest and relaxation, and tons of Korean and Japanese food. First thing I do when I get home is to scream to my mom to make me food because damn man there's no cooking like mama's cooking. Happy November holidays to everyone, safe travels, I hope everyone in the states spends quality time with their family, hope you guys get to eat a lot of yummy food because I know I will. And most importantly, enjoy your holiday time and play lots of MapleStory too because we got a lot of work to do. I'll see you guys after Thanksgiving, take care.